All right, so um, we're diving into a really interesting one today, Leo and Aquarius compatibility. Oh, yeah. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think these two would work, right? Right. But there's this undeniable pull between them, like a cosmic tug of war, as the source mm. puts it. And, you know, for those of you listening who are drawn to this pairing, I think you're in for a wild ride from what I'm gathering here. <laughs> it really is that classic opposites attract, isn't it? Yeah. The source really paints this picture of these two like really strong personalities just drawn to each other. Magnetically almost. Yeah, almost magnetically. But instead of peaceful coexistence, it's like they're these two, you know, celestial forces constantly like push and pulling against each other. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's like a cosmic dance off, but with like <laughs> eh. much higher stakes. Right. Right. Because the source was saying, I found this so interesting. They describe that initial attraction as almost impossible to resist. Have you found that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Leo is ruled by the sun, right? right. So they embody this radiant, confident energy. Th think of, you know. Like the king. <laughs> the king, yes. Commanding all the attention. And then you have Aquarius, who's influenced by Uranus. Uranus is that planet of rebellion and uh, innovation. Right. So like always pushing against. Um... Challenging the status quo. So when you put those two together, you have this inherent tension built right in. Oh, totally. It's like can't live with them, can't live without them, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious how that actually like plays out in a relationship. Well, it's definitely uh, not for the faint of heart. The source doesn't shy away from that at all. They're very clear about the challenges. And apparently, even in the bedroom, it can be a battleground for these two. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because they were describing their sex life as a struggle, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but struggle isn't exactly the first word that pops into my head when I think about romance, you know. <laughs> right. Like, I'm thinking more along the lines of, like, you know, passion, fireworks. Yeah, yeah. And yet... That's kind of where it gets interesting because what the source is suggesting is that this friction, this constant kind of push and pull can actually lead to some pretty incredible breakthroughs for both of them, oh, both you. sexually and emotionally. So it's not just about like the initial like, you know, fireworks, but like what they learn from each other, like through that process. Exactly. Leo, they need that validation. And that actually pushes Aquarius to kind of define their own values. And then you've got Aquarius who's so unconventional and that challenges Leo's perception of their self-worth. Oh, interesting. There is like this very dynamic process of mutual growth, even if it's not always like comfortable or easy. Yeah. So maybe like a little friction is kind of what sparks that deeper self-discovery. Maybe. Yeah. But, you know, the source also warns about trust being like a major hurdle for these two. And I was thinking, like, how can something be so passionate and um, also be so fragile at the same time? That's the paradox, right? Because initially they're so blinded by the intensity of everything, the attraction, that it can be hard to see clearly. And I think that's what the source is getting at. You know, there might be some misunderstanding later on, especially when it comes to like deeper emotional needs. Right, because they're not really seeing each other. They're seeing like this idea that they have of each other. Right. Yeah, it's like an idealized version. And then what's even more interesting is that even after separating, like way later, they might look back and be like, wow, we hid so much from each other. We were so guarded. Almost like they were too caught up in the excitement of it all to be truly vulnerable. Right. Yeah. So we've talked about the like the crazy attraction and the potential for, you know, things to go south. Right. But I'm really curious about this part. Because the source talks about what happens when Leo and Aquarius actually find a common cause. Oh, yeah. And it sounds like that's when things get really, really interesting. Absolutely. When these two unite for a shared purpose, it's like, watch out, world. Yeah. They can be such a force, like a cosmic power couple on a mission. Totally. Yeah. The source even uses this example of them, like taking down corrupt governments. Right. It's giving, like, total superhero vibes. Totally. And it makes sense when you think about their strengths, right? You've got Leo with that natural leadership, that charisma, they can rally anyone, inspire people to take action. Totally. And then you have Aquarius, the visionary, the innovator, like always coming up with new solutions. Right, so it's like they each have their own superpower. Yes. And then together, they're like this unstoppable duo. Exactly. I love it. Dynamic duo, I like that. But okay, I'm wondering, how do those like big personalities play out in like everyday communication, because that's got to be interesting, right? Well, let's just say it can be a mixed bag. Oh, here we go. Leo thrives on that direct communication. You right, know? like no game. No beating around the bush, just this is what I think. What about you? Right, straight to the point. Classic Leo. Totally. But what about Aquarius? How do they handle communication? Aquarius is um, 
a little more unpredictable. Okay. I mean, the R and air sign, so it's all about mental agility, change, maybe a little detachment. And that can clash with Leo's, you know, need for directness and emotional expression. Oh, so there's going to be some fireworks. <laughs> Let's just say sparks might fly. Okay. <laughs> but here's the thing. That friction can actually be productive mm -hmm. because Aquarius pushes Leo out of their comfort zone, encourages them to see things from new perspective. Yeah. And then Leo, who's more grounded, practical, can help Aquarius actually take those innovative ideas and turn them into something real. So it's all about finding that balance. Yeah, that sweet spot. Between the clarity and the spark. That's yeah. exactly. Okay, right, yeah. And speaking of sparks... The source gets into this whole emotional roller coaster that is a Leo Aquarius relationship. Oh, yeah. And this part really surprised me because apparently what emotionally guarded Aquarius needs is, get this, Leo's warmth. Really? That's uh, so interesting. Right. It seems counterintuitive. Yeah, because you think of Aquarius being like, no, I'm good. I don't need that. Exactly. But remember, air sign. Right. Right. It's all about the intellect, the detachment. Right. So Leo comes in with that fire, brings the heat, and it melts away that icy exterior. Oh, I love that. It's like, you know, the sword said it best. When Leo falls in love, the entire world can feel it. Right. Like you cannot hide from that. So how could an Aquarius ever handle that? That is the question, isn't it? And that's what the source points out. This weird thing where Leo's warmth and generosity, which is usually so great, yeah. can be like too much. Oh, too much of a good thing. Yeah. But with Aquarius, the source is saying they kind of need that that intensity to really break down those walls. Right. It's like Leo's warmth melts away all their defenses and they're able to open up in ways that they never would with any other sign. OK, yeah, I see that. But I mean, no relationship is perfect, obviously. Mm. Then what about the downsides? The source must mention something about ego battles. What's that about? Yeah. Well, both of them, Leo and Aquarius, are super strong willed and independent used to getting their own way. Oh, for sure. And that can lead to some serious power struggles, especially if they aren't careful. Oh, absolutely. Hmm. So, like, how do they deal with that? What's the, like, secret sauce to make this relationship last? The source seems to think it comes down to respecting each other's individuality. Like, both of them need space to shine, to go after their own passions, their own interests. Hmm, that's interesting, because you'd think, like, togetherness, right? Yeah, you'd think. But with these two, it's really about celebrating each other's strengths and not trying to change who they are. Yeah, yeah. And the source even says they're probably more attracted to someone who challenges them, you know, pushes them to be their best self. L less about merging into one, more about like walking side by side on their own paths. Exactly. And then in those moments when they do come together, like when they find that shared purpose. Oh, that that's when the magic happens. Cool. That's when it gets really exciting. Because remember, the source was comparing Leo to the sun. Right. And Aquarius to lightning. Oh, yeah. So individually, they're powerful. But together, Whoa. they can be unstoppable. I love that. Okay, so, wow, we've covered so much from that first spark to the importance of, you know, keeping your own thing going. It's a journey. It really is. But it seems like the big question is, can Leo and Aquarius get past those challenges yeah. and actually make it last? It's a tough one. It's not going to be easy, but I think with some self-awareness, good communication, and a lot of patience, it's definitely possible. Yeah. And remember, this is a combo with huge potential for growth for both of them. Totally. It's like a cosmic dance yeah. full of surprises. But if they can move together, it could be an amazing love story. It really could. And, you know, sometimes the most rewarding journeys are the ones that really push us to grow, right? So there you have it. A deep dive into the world of Leo and Aquarius compatibility. Fascinating, frustrating, and ultimately, I think, super hopeful. What do you think? Is it worth the ride? Let us know. Hit us up on social media. We want to hear your thoughts. Until next time, keep exploring and keep looking up.